And now the youth party in Nigeria has expressed great dismay that the federal government has not held any official accountable for the sharing competence of importing 3 million liters of substandard petrol. And this negligence of duty, they say, has cost the country billions of naira as several cars and generators have suffered huge damages from the substandard petrol. The youth express their displeasure that the government has shown no remorse for its incompetence, saying this is unacceptable. And we are now being joined by the National Publicity Secretary Youth Party, Ayodele Adio, right here in the studio. Thanks for joining us on the news at this time. Thank you for having me. Oh, okay. Um, do you think this mere display of your anger uh, over this issue is enough? I mean, our display of anger is, is, is a frustration and irritation that comes from a lack of accountability from public officials who should otherwise know better. I mean, we're talking about in, uh, importing 100 million liters of adulterated petrol into the country that has knocked off engines for cars, for generators, and yet no one is held to account. It makes absolutely no sense to me. It's, it's been, first of all, it took three days and public outcry for the NNPC to have the courtesy to issue a public statement when cars were being damaged, when queues were already piling up at the filling stations. They didn't deem it fit to inform Nigerians why there was scarcity or why there was a bad petrol that was knocking car engines. It took the president, who doubles as the, uh, uh, the Minister of Petroleum, an extra two, three days to issue what for me again, uh, you wouldn't even call a very stern statement on the issue that had you know, befallen the entire country. So it looks to me like the government in power is taking the Nigerian people for granted and public officials who should be held accountable are getting um, off with, with as little as a slap on the wrist. And that cannot be acceptable um, in our country. Okay, so NNPC says they are on top of their game. So uh, why do you still feel Nigerians are being taken for granted. The NNPC cannot be on top of its game because it claims that it has enough reserves um, and then there's still scarcity all over the country. And it's important to emphasize this point. The NNPC have also said that they may require to spend 201 billion naira to clean up the bad patrol. 201 billion naira. ASU is going on strike, or they have just gone on strike, because the federal government lacks 30 billion naira to give them for revitalization fund for the universities. And if you add on their add-on allowances that they're asking for, it's 65 billion naira. So a country that cannot give 65 billion naira to ASU, its educational sector, to stop it from going on strike, the institution that builds human capital in its country is going to waste 201 billion naira to clean up fuel for its gross incompetence and no one is held to account and that angers me so much oh okay um having said this you know i can see the passion with which you've spoken but then what do you think is or should be the way forward there can be no way forward if public officials are not held accountable. So I would argue that the first thing that needs to happen is that people must be punished for costing the country billions of naira, for causing a lot of hardship, and for causing damages to the Nigerian people. Somebody must be held accountable. We pay these people uh, in, in the NNPC, in the NNDPR, the DPRs, we pay them huge salaries and allowances from taxpayers' funds. And the least that we expect is that somebody is held accountable for what is a scandalous issue that has befallen our country. So the least, the only way we can go, go forward is to first serve an example so it's a deterrent to people coming after. Somebody has to be fired from his job or somebody has to be suspended. Somebody just has to be held accountable before we can move forward. All of this talk shop hearing in the House of Representative, we are going back and forth, will not move the needle. We've seen this movie a thousand times over and we know how it ends. Except somebody is held accountable, this behavior will be reinforced, it will happen again, and the Nigerian people will continue to be taken for granted. And All that right. is unacceptable. We want to say thank you, um, Mr. Yadele Adio, for coming into the studio and giving us, you know, this update and, you know, how the youth feel about what is happening in the nation right now. Thank you thank for you your for time. Having. Thank you. For Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.